Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to train a model, a custom SSD MobileNet model for a custom objects. So in, in my previous videos we discussed how we can clone the repository which has all the files you need to, to train your custom model and then we trained a model for fruits, we also trained the model to detect different different types of toys but in this video we are going to train a model which will be detecting different different letters of the alphabets. So let me just quickly show you the video of how it looks like. So in the previous videos we created the model for fruits and we also created the model for the toys but in this video uh, we will be using these alphabets uh, and then we'll see if we are able to train a model to detect all these alphabets for example C, O, A and W. So let's get started. Okay so now let's open up a terminal, let's maximize this and let's call our label image software. Let's open the directory data alphabets and jpeg images let's open these images and then let's change directory data alphabets and annotations let's open it. now let's start labeling our images which is one of the most painful tasks in any model preparation so let me just call it as o and i will call it as w Let's call this as C and let's call this as A. Perfect. Let's save this. Let's go back to sorry. Let's go to the next image. Let's paste all our and let's just quickly take a look if all the annotations are correct. Yes, these are correct. Let's adjust these here and let's also do this and then Okay, great. So let me just quickly complete all the annotations of these images and then probably we'll resume from there. Okay, so I have now finished um, labeling all my images and let's just quickly verify if all the annotation looks right. So yeah, everything looks to be perfectly working fine. So verifying your annotation is a good idea because if there's a slight issue then it can create to a model not being working fine and uh, but in our case all the annotation looks correct okay that's fine so this is this is something which we have done now another thing which I've let's close this and another thing which we have done is that I've also created this labels uh, file inside our alphabets directory and this contains the name of all our labels so O A C W these are the four labels we are currently using now so data set preparation is all complete now let's start our model training so for that I'm going to again take this use of this uh, this command so let me just copy this command and let's open up a terminal and let's paste this command so inside this I am going to rename my model name which is now alphabets and then I'm also going to rename these two alpha bets and then batch size we are again going to keep it as two workers will be five and then epochs 500 now let's run this uh, training okay so it looks like there are no issues as such because the training has started with epoch zero and i'll probably uh, continue to run this for next 20 30 minutes and we'll see if the if the loss goes down then we'll uh, pause the training early as well so so the training is still going on and the loss has dropped to somewhere around 0.9 but let's just quickly analyze the result by using the result python script so i'll open a terminal and i will now mention my model name 
okay so here we can see that this is how our training graph looks like so our loss was somewhere around 3.5 and then it has probably dropped down somewhere to 1.0 which is fine so i'll just continue to keep training the model for some more time and then we'll quickly see how the training graph looks like Okay, so the training is going on from quite a long time now and I can see that the results are uh, somewhere around 0.9 and, and has not decreased to 0.8 or 0.7. So I'm now going to stop the training and uh, so th the best checkpoint we have is 0.81. So I'll just probably use this and uh, then build the TRT engine out of it. So let's stop our training here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to transfer this model file into my Jetson nano device along with the labels txt file and then we will uh, build the model there okay so I'm back in my Jetson device now and what I've done is that I have copied the best checkpoint from my training and the labels files inside the inside the path where I have installed the Jetson inference project. So inside the Jetson inference project, inside the models directory, I have created alpha base directory because that's the name of my model. And then inside that, I have pasted my these two files. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, generate the ONNX model from this, and then we will use that ONNX format and then convert that to TRT format. So let's do that now. So let's open up a terminal. Inside this, let's write Python 3 ONNX export and model directory. Sorry, model directory equals to models and then alphabets. Yes, perfect. It has loaded our checkpoint as well as the labels file. done so now it has generated the um, ONX file so let's move inside our models alphabets sorry alphabets and then if we take a look at this so this is our SSD mobile net ONX file now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this file to convert into TRT and then as well as we'll also start our uh, inferencing over the video so I'm going to use the detect net uh, detect net utility if you don't know you will probably have to install the Jetson inference and then this detect net utility will also be available to you so I'm just going to go up and then yep so what I've mentioned here is that detect net and then inside this I have passed my models directory where my model is present and my labels directory and all these uh, parameters remains as it is and then at the end I have passed the alphabets uh, video file which I initially recorded so let's run this command and then uh, we'll see how our uh, model is uh, performing perfect so as we can see our inferencing has started and it looks like the model is performing quite well because I can see that it's detecting the alphabets very accurately so we can see it's detecting w is detecting c and all of the detection results i can see it's more than 70 75 percent which is fine so so i think we've just used around uh, 150 or 170 images and it's performing quite well with 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.8 loss as well so i guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video uh, i hope you have uh, learned something new from this and please like, share and subscribe to the channel.